On 17 March 2015, following an international tender process, the Ministry of Works and Transport awarded SGS an exclusive contract to design, implement and perform mandatory roadworthiness inspections nationwide. This meant that all vehicles would be subjected to safety and emission inspections. However, many car owners were apprehensive about the exercise and questions about the charges arose. Today, the committee started its probe with officials of the Ministry of Works and Transport. State Minister for Transport, Agri Bajire, led the team to justify the need for mandatory vehicle inspection in the country. The primary objective is to reduce the incidence of road traffic accidents in which the unsatisfactory mechanical condition of motor vehicles is a contributory factor. Monitoring of exhaust emissions to mitigate environmental effects caused by the harmful substances emitted by motor vehicles. Another reason fronted by the ministry is the need to ascertain and create a data bank for all vehicles in the country. At this point, we are going to know which vehicle has been insured, which insurance cover is this supposed entitled to, and uh, has it adhered to it or not. But as the minister labored to explain the relevance of the process, MPs questioned the procedure through which the Swiss company was awarded the contract given its past reputation. SGS was here from 1998 and their services were terminated in 2000. The reason was unethical corporation operations behavior. Now, you did due diligence on SGS and you chose to go to Zambia, Ivory Coast. Why didn't you do diligence on SGS in Uganda? I wonder whether, which database they create, because if I refuse to take my vehicle, how will they know that that vehicle is existing? At least the Uganda Revenue Authority will have the card. But these ones that are waiting for me to go to Kawanda, which database will they produce for Uganda? We need this to be clarified, that they did not get equipment from Germany or South Africa. That's why we're having challenges, that they got it from France. Can you confirm these allegations or not? On 29th October 2010, Honorable Chairperson PPD conducted an administrative review with representations made by the Ministry, Minister of Works officials, lawyers of ESP, and lawyers of SGS. There are profiles which you could have contacted the Minister of Finance, everywhere in government files, whereby SGS is questionable in operation in Uganda. They were suspended by government. The other concerns ranged from unclear books of accounts to the charges levied for each vehicle which were arrived at without the approval of parliament. We have been seeing a situation whereby a bus which carries many people pays less than a border border or a commuter tax or even my own car. My concern is what was the criteria used so then we know the rationale. The contracts are quoted for a motorcycle, 28,000. Now they are charging 50 what? 56, isn't it? Yes. And they are giving an explanation of what? When I computed what with the literal engineering mathematics, I know. Yes, not your primary, curricular. It is supposed to be 33, but now we are at 56. I want to know, Honorable Minister, how the price escalated to 56. Ministry is supposed to have a well-established uh, session uh, so that we can you can effectively supervise the SDS. So we need to know if we already have that master, master test center in the ministry. Those ones that you think that we have not answered satisfactorily, then you tell us either to come with the, 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 the intended the people or the intended the document, we, we, are, we are available. We demand that the minister comes with the accounting officer and, and all the other relevant departments, departments that are connected to this document here. Thank you.